Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a top bar or sometimes known as an announcement bar at the top of your website using the generate press theme and generate blocks. All right, so here's the site uh, demo we're going to use today. This is pulled from the generate press site library. And at the very top here above our header and navigation is where we want that um, top bar announcement bar to be placed. So how we're going to do that is using elements, uh, which is a generate press premium feature. Um, now what you want to make sure is once you install generate press, you do have to go to your generate press settings. You go to appearance generate press and under modules, uh, ensure that the elements module is activated. After you activate it, you will refresh the page and just below generate press in the appearance menu is where you'll see elements. So we're going to click on elements and we're going to add a new element and call this a block and create. Now we'll say this is the top bar. And essentially what we could start doing is just designing uh, what we want that top bar to look like. So first, just like with gen any uh, generate blocks section, we're gonna create a container. And I do wanna create a inner container um, to contain the content I'm going to insert. So first I'm gonna jump back to the outer container, add a background color that matches the website, pulled from my global colors. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and do you know how you approach this is really dependent on what you want in your announcement bar um, if you just want a simple text that's a message to say hey we're closed today or maybe you want to promote a sale um, or lead to a download uh, whatever it might be will kind of depend whether you need text and a button or um, a countdown timer or something uh, it really just applies to your needs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do text and a button. So it's more of a call to action. So I'm going to create, uh, add a grid and we're going to add this type of section. Um, so we're going to insert a headline block. We'll say, check out our newest product on sale. And we can change that to a paragraph, um, go to colors. We want to make sure people can read it. And by default, there's some bottom um, margin on our paragraph. So we're gonna go to spacing margin and click zero. And now we can go ahead and add a button. And we're gonna say, um, view the product. And spacing, we're gonna alter this a little bit. We'll just say five, 10, five, 10. And let's see, we'll go colors. Background color, I wanna go with this darker color. Um, hover, we'll do the same one, text white. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and save the draft for now. All right, so now we wanna just make a few further adjustments. I'm gonna to go to my grid, go to the layout tab and center it just to make sure my text aligns centered with my button. Um, I am gonna lower the topography font size. Let's say down to 16 pixels there. Um, and then I wanna add some padding on top and bottom so that the button is not touching. So we'll say five on top, and five on the bottom. Perfect, so um, that looks pretty decent. We can always tweak it once we see it on the website. All right, so next we need to choose the location. Um, this is going to enable it on the website so it's seen. And so what I've done with this in the past is actually, um, so if this is related to a certain product or a page, 
um, what you can do is enable this on the entire site so that every every page that the visitor is on they can see it um, and navigate to that call to action and then you can even go and exclude maybe the particular page that you're calling to because once they're on that page you don't want to call attention to it again right so um, you can include that page exclude that page that you're calling to um, just so it's less redundant. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna leave it as entire site. Um, and lastly, we need to pull in the correct hook so it tells it where to put this bar on our website. So element type is a hook and the hook name is going to be under header before header can leave the priority and we'll go ahead and hit publish. So now we can come to our site and there it is. Um, so just above our navigation at the top of the website, um, you can see we've got pretty large announcement bar, um, stays at the top and of course it's consistent on every page that we go to. Now what we can also do additionally is uh, make sure this looks good on mobile. So We'll go back to our editor, check it out. Um, it looks like on the tablet view, we'll need to add some uh, left and right padding. We can go 20 and 20. That looks good. And then click back in, go to mobile. And we want this to obviously look a little bit better on mobile. So I'm gonna lower the font size actually down to about 14. Um, we can center that and then the button. I'm going to also lower down to 14. And what I'm gonna do is add a container to that button so then I can easily control um, the alignment of, that, of the button as well. So we're gonna add the container and center. Um, but now that these are stacked, we're gonna need just a little bit of uh, margin on the headline between it and the button. So I'll add 10 pixels. That looks pretty good as well. So now we can come back to our website, um, jump into the customizer. So now we can see on tablet, looks pretty good. And on mobile, looks great. So as you can see in this demo, it's actually really simple and easy way that you can add a top announcement bar to your website. Um, and once you're done, all you have to do is make it a draft and it's removed from your site. And when you're ready to put it back up, um, alter the content, change out the link if needed, and publish. So hope you find it useful, and uh, we'll see you next time.